Sorry. Oh, I cut the video out. I was trying to see what time it was on my phone. But uh, basically what I was saying is, I don't know what to call this video. I started this spiritual journal flow thing. And, you know, I've just been shifting and swaying in every direction. And it's, and it's I just learned to surrender and give it all up. You know, like, it seems like I'll give something up and it comes back to me polished. So, you know, I'm going to do the sun gazing here. It's something I've been doing, you know, as much as I could throughout the summer and learned more about it. You know, in the summer, I would just close my eyes and look at it at noon. I wouldn't have my eyes open. That would hurt. Don't do that. But, you know, it's almost sunset. It's about to go over the horizon. So, um, I do this breathing where, well, I breathe in through the top to the bottom of my spine and, and out. And I just really send a lot of lo I love you's to my heart and then I send that to the earth and then the earth sends it back I send it to the sun and then I I really love myself and I get in this deep bliss of this divine union bes between the sun the father the earth the mother and the divine child so I'm gonna do this and do this throat chanting that I've learned <laughs> spontaneously somehow I feel like I've done it before but
slow that down <laughs> wow <sighs> um forgot to say there's this guy I came up here took my shoes off you know sat down put my feet dug him into the earth <laughs> uh, stretched my head in the clouds and I heard this noise and you know I crossed a deer earlier and so, you know, I was like, oh, a deer or a boar, you know. <laughs> but no, it was this it was this guy and and he offered me some cashews. <laughs> and uh so uh I asked him where he was from, his name. I have a hard time remembering names, and plus he was from Israel, so it was an Israeli name, I think. And uh, so I Told him I was from Nebraska and like I just moved here to Cottonwood, northern Arizona, and uh, I uh, said I was kind of self conscious about doing this Tibetan or Mongolian throat singing, whatever you call it. It's like this sound healing, this deep feeling that I get, in it's I don't know what it is, you know, I know it works, it does benevolent things to me and the people around me, and I see the difference. So, I asked him if he knew what Mongolian throat singing was, and he said, yeah, I know what that is. And I'm like, okay, do you, I'm self-conscious, do you, you mind if I try it? <laughs> and so I so I did, and I just do like a short one for like a minute or, or less, and you know, I did the, where the deep, and then the, and I'm trying to get used to doing it in front of people, you know, because I feel like I know it's healing me. It does a lot of healing things to me and accelerates and does something really, really good. It gets the divine really flowing. And so, uh, um, I did it and he's like, wow. And uh, I can't remember what I said, but he's like, that gives me goosebumps. <laughs> like, like he really felt it. And I'm like, well, I guess that's a good sign that it's working. <laughs> and, um, you know, I was kind of telling him what I saw. You know, like I'll see like a pink and green really bright. It's like a rainbow or a band. And it's not always that same, but it was significant. in the per first person that I saw do that, well, not in person, but on a YouTube video like this, uh, That's what I saw, and it was like, like, shortly after that, I started doing that spontaneously. It was crazy, but, um, you know, he he shook my hand and then he gave me a hug, and it was like, wow, you know, <laughs> so that that felt really good that I could, you know, really share share that energy, that deep feeling of forever that I have in my heart that I can share that with people. And, you know, that's what these YouTube videos are all about, you know. First, when I started this, it was like, you know, all this stuff happening, like a, awakening or whatever you want to call it or label it. It's like this kind of I don't know thing that you just kind of like trust and you really follow your, your instincts and trust your body. Trust I, I get like trust trust your body to know what, it, what, what to do, you know, because some of this stuff is really physical and... And, it, and it's and it's all good, even, but sometimes it gets a little tough if you're going through, you know, stuff like this, you know. It really helps to ground and connect to the earth, the mother, and the son, the father, and to really love yourself, you know. Look at yourself in the mirror, look at the pupil of your eyes, and, uh, you know, look at your own face looking back at you through the pupil of your eye. And, and you know, once you're able to do that and really see it, then I'm sure you'll be able to look at other people in the eye and eyes and and see your own face reflecting back at you and you know that's a really deep feeling so 
um, I'm gonna end this video. <laughs> it's kind of uh, getting, well, it's past 10 minutes. I only sun gaze for like five minutes. I don't need to do a lot, you know. I was really, I don't want to overdo it, you know. It's strong feeling, you know. And it's, it's that sun gazing, it goes in through your eyes, hits, goes into your brain, stimulates your pineal gland. And same with that throat singing is I, I, I vibrate that part of my neck and my tongue and s s stimulates my throat and it vibrates my whole body. But thank you.